Nothing. We'll start our Nothing. Tour. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I'm so bored. There's nothing in here to do. If I don't find a decent activity soon, I'm going to freaking lose it. Huh? Hey, Cods. Oh, hey, BJ. What's up? Do you remember last month when you came to my house asking me if I wanted to do a turf war with you? But you got sidetracked of my delicious homemade pancakes. Remember that? Oh, yes. I do remember. Oh, I love your sweet, delicious pancakes. Hmm. Just thinking about them is making me hungry right now. Wait, you don't have any of them, do you? <gasps> Holy fish sticks! Thanks, BJ. You've read my mind. It's my pleasure. Ah, thanks, neighbor. I needed that. You make the best pancakes in all of Ecopolis. Yeah. For a squid, you really eat a lot. Well, I can't help it. I'm a foodie person just like you. <laughs> Touche. Please, come in. Oh, thank you. So, what can I do you for, neighbor? Well, I've just stopped by to see if you wanted to do some turf war with me. That is, if you're not busy or anything. Oh, sure. I'll be delighted to do some turf war. I'm so bored and I have nothing to do around here. But, uh, why ask me? Because you asked me if I wanted to join you, but I was too busy with the pancakes last month. So without a doubt, I do owe you a turf war. And I will fill in for Ralph this time. Great! Ralph's busy at the moment, and he's too busy doing a turf war though. Anyway, Rocket and Flower are waiting for us outside. Alright, let me get my gear and I'll meet you outside. Alright, I'll wait for you outside. I can see that she loves your pancakes. Yep, no doubt about that. So you're going to carry out your plan, right? That's right. I'm going to use my share of the money to buy a new house for Joe. Really? Yep. I mean, he deserves it. He won't be able to sleep in the Squid Sisters' basement anymore. He's done a lot for me lately. I've decided to return the favor. Isn't that right, my young apprentice? I'm buying House 6 Richard Drive. It's been vacant for months, not since the old neighbors moved out. So I'm planning on buying it for Joe, as a token of our friendship. And I have a feeling that he and I will be great neighbors. Now that's very kind of you, buying a house for a best friend. That's right, he's earned it. I'm very compassionate of my friends. I know you are, buddy, and I'll be supporting you on this. I want him to be my neighbor too. And we'll have to work and fight for that money. Now, won't we? That's right, mate. Count me in. Great. Now, let's do this. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? Hey, that's Joe. He looks a little down. Hello, Joe. Hey, Emily. What's the matter? Oh, I'm just tired. Didn't get enough sleep last night. What happened? Callie and Marie happened. What's <coughs> wrong? Yep, I live with them. Thought you all knew this. <coughs> Is it? <coughs> I don't know. I'm not sure anymore. I thought living with the Squid Sisters would be cool, but at the same time, it can be a bit stressful, uncomfortable, and a little bit annoying. Really? Yeah. Oh, you poor squid! We didn't know you were going through so much. Yeah, I am. I live in their basement and I use it as a room. It's not so bad, but dealing with the squid sisters, that's the problem for me. What do you mean, they're the problem? Don't take this the wrong way, but the squid sisters? act like children sometimes. They argue way too much, especially when we have pancakes. I feel embarrassed just talking about it. I'm always in there breaking up their pancake fights. Even their grandpa has to come in and help me. Right, I remember now. 
BJ told me about the Squid Sisters broke into his house on over his stack of pancakes once. Oh, but that's not all. Sometimes they like to start drinking contests. Admittedly, both of them are big drinkers, but when Callie starts drinking, it's off to the races. And guess who's the designated driver? Me. I'm thinking about moving to a new house. A place for my own. I've been taking a look at houses in Richard Drive. East Richard Drive, where BJ and Claude live. You live on West Richard Drive. Sorry for disappointing you, Ocean. You and BJ's houses do look very similar. Kinda. Anyways, the house I want is uh, house number six. It's been vacant for months and no one's bought the place yet. Problem is, I don't have enough money to buy the place. $2,500. $1,400. But I need that money for gas, food, rent. I'd play a tour for, but they're pretty busy today. Guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow. Don't worry, Joe. I'm sure you'll get the money by then, and you'll finally get a place of your own on that East Richard Drive. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> Now let's go and get us some frosty chocolate special milkshakes. I'm buying. Sure, count me in. Yippee! I promise you won't be disappointed. All right then, let's go. All righty, follow me, everyone. Well, we're here. Now let's go in and win this match for job. All right then. Hold on, guys. Who is going to be in charge here? Well, BJ, of course. He's the one who invited us to the turf war. Actually, I was hoping you would lead this time. I did say I owe you a turf war. Now you have one. Lead the way, team leader. Well, that's kind and very thoughtful of you. All right, let's do this. John! Huh? I'm awake. Oh, hey Klotz. Going in, I see. That's right, buddy. We are. Alright. Let me see your IDs, please. Alright, they all check. You guys can go in now. Thanks, Judd. Have fun in there, guys. Same to you, Judd. And same to you. Let's do this! Thanks, Claude. You're welcome, buddy. Like I said, I got your back. And I will do the same. Surprise, Rocket! Keep it together! That's what I'm doing, buddy! Go full on cracking those guys. You guys cover me. You got it. 
Oh no! What am I going to do? Is this the end for me? No, it isn't! Well, you didn't. Well, we better hurry. The match is almost over. Alright, let's finish this match. Lead the way, Cods. Okay, let me check the results. And the winner is... Pink Team! Yes! yes! Okay, here you go, guys. Your money for the turf war. Thanks, Judd. We appreciate it. Alright, now that you're done, I'm going back to sleep now. Does he always do this? Every time, mate. He reminds me of you, Flower. Oh, come on. I know you like to sleep a lot, too. You did good, Flower. And I'm very proud of you. What do you want, Lilac? Come to piss us off again? Yeah, so he can piss me off again? Now, BJ, be nice. They're congratulating us for our successful match. I still can't forget for what they did. Relax, buddy. You take things too personally. Learn to my mouth. Fine. Now that's the spirit, mate. So anyway, you guys did a good job yourselves back there. Oh, it's on. Alright, see you at our next turf war, guys. Hey, BJ, are you still carrying out with your plan? Oh, yeah. Okay, Joe. Almost there. What kind of surprise have you got for me? You'll see. Alright, Joe. I got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that somebody bought House 6 Richard Drive. What? How is this possible? Because the good news is you get to live in it. Wow. Who paid for it? I did. Wait. You paid for the house? Sure did. Best $2,500 ever spent. So you're set for life. Honestly, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything else. Welcome to the neighborhood. Neighbor. I think that you and I will be great neighbors. Right back at you, buddy. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood, mate. We're glad to have you here. House 6 Richard Drive is all yours. All right. But first, I have to get my stuff at the... No need to worry. Heavy Spider, Omega, and G have already brought your stuff in. It's in the house already, Joe. Safe and sound. Yep. Wow, thanks a lot, guys. This means a lot to me. I will never forget this. You guys can come over to my place anytime you want. As for you, BJ, Claws, and Flowers, don't bother knocking. Because we're all Richard Drive neighbors. You and me together. Ain't that the truth? No doubt about that. Joe, wait! Come back! Oh, no. Joe, please come back with us. We missed you over there already. I'm sorry, girls, but I'm a resident of Richard Drive now. And I love it. Oh, that's it, Marie. We've just lost our favorite roommate. I know. It's not going to be the same without him. Hey, girls. Don't worry. I'll come and visit you two when I get the chance. But it's not going to be the same. There's nothing in this world that could make us feel better right now. Not to worry, because we're having a pancake party tonight, and you two are invited. <gasps> really? Yep. My neighbor BJ makes the best pancakes in all of Inkopolis. 
Say what? No, we didn't say I was cooking for everybody. Please. All right. I'll cook some pancakes for everybody. But I'll require help. Yippee! It's pancake time. Pancakes for dinner. Why, Joe? Why? Don't worry, buddy. I'll give you a helping hand. And I will help too. Cheer up, BJ. Oh, I'll try to. Thank you, BJ. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, guys. Come on in. We'll get this party started. 